Hello and welcome. I'm UK Gamer 808 and my channel is mainly Farming Simulator 19 and today we are looking this is the first of a how to guide on Seasons 19 mod which just came out a few days back and we're going to go through all the different animals first of all to as they've changed in a dramatic way. So first off what we're going to do I have set up five sheep pen now they are the smallest ones because we're going to do a test with them all and I've got one over there as well which we're going to do a different test on that one so why have I got four I've got four because we have four different sheep available so you click on for the animal dealer and then it shows you which ones we've got and we've got the Dorset the Merino the Suffolk and the Dorper and basically when you go on the door set you can see there it says a large breed let's zoom that in a large breed of sheep that grows moderately fast has modest wool production and requires a medium amount of feed as an adult is relative relatively prolific and good for 25 to 40 kilos now that's the crack there is we can actually get meat make money selling meat so that one is a good all-rounder then we go down to the merino and the, the merino is a medium breed that is used for wool production so you're not going to get any meat off this this is if you just want to do wool this is the one you're going to use it grows slowly and it's not very prolific but doesn't require a lot of feed so the first one does need more feed that one's not going to need more feed but you're not getting meat off it so we go down to the next one which is the suffolk and that's a large breed of sheep that grows extremely fast produces a modest amount of wool requires a lot of feed as an adult and is prolific and slow maturing good for 45 to 65 kilos so that is your meat maker that is the one that, and you're also going to get wool off it as well but it's going to take a lot of feed now the feed's not that too much of a problem because they're taking grass or hay now those are commodities you can just cut yourself anyway or even if you buy it like for this one I have bought it it's not going to cost a great deal of money anyway so the Dorper a medium sized breed that grows fast but produces no wool so bear that in mind if you if you were looking for wool you don't want to use these very prolific and fast maturing requires little feed as an adult great for 40 to 45 kilos so it's a little bit smaller than the Suffolk on the meat production but all in all is that's the different crack so that one's going to be 25 40 kilos of meat and it will do modest wool medium amount of feed and then so basically what we're going to do is we're going to fill a pen up of each one and we'll see which one generates the best sort of income really so the first one we will put in 20 sheep right so that's 20 door sets now they're all female these ones as well so that's get them in that's them in that pen now I'll go over to the next pen and we will put in the merinos and you see the cost there we didn't look at that on the previous one actually where it, the cost was 8495 but it's the two grand what um, for transporting so you want to transport it yourself really right I'll go over and get these done I'll see you in a minute so to go into the seasons menu you hold down the L, L1 button and the options this is on PlayStation 4 and it takes you into the seasons menu now I've done a little introduction so if you want to know all about this then go and have a look at that one because today we're just looking at, at the animals which is this where you find the animals if you go into the other menu the animals aren't there they're here now and you can see that's the four I put in where I put one of each one in there and you can see as we scroll down it tells you how many pounds of meat and what have you are on there which is pretty cool so we've got the breakdown of the water and the grass and the hay and then you've got your production values below which is the showing you your wool and estimated food required which is um, an interesting one so it tells you how much food they're going to need so they're saying that one at the moment is 25,000 they're 19,000 and they're 17,000 so they do make quite a big difference on now that one I've done the, with all of them and they need 4,000 so you're talking about a thousand 
Um, I don't know what the Y is. Is that per... I don't know. What does Y stand for? I'm not sure if that's a day or whatever. we find that out shortly. So that is the animal's menu. So all we need to do is fill them all up with water and grass and hay. Now I'm going to use hay. Just cause It doesn't matter if you use grass or hay. I'm sure it doesn't make any difference. But I'm going to use hay on all of them. So I'll go off and fill them up with water, fill them up with hay, and then what we're going to do is fast forward time over, probably do it over three days, and see what each one's producing. So I shall see you in a moment. Right, so we've got them all filled up, and we go back into the menu, and you see now everything's in the green, everything's ready to go. Now on this menu you can scroll down because each sheep is got its specifics so it's not per group it's per sheep so you can see that they're starting off on 143 pounds then those are 110 132 and the Suffolk's 154 so I wrote this down and what we're going to do we are fast forward a little bit of time and to, I think we'd, I'll try it on a day first of all and we might need to do two or three days depending on how the food I don't want the food to go out of the green so the, the other thing I used to do was I used to have the cattle trailer part there well sheep trailer and then as soon as we I used to max it all out so if it had a hundred I'd put it on about 98 and so it was you get maximum growth and then I would put them straight into the the truck and then when I had a full truck I'd take them off to market now because all these menus are specific to each sheep so if you go and put four of them in a truck then they might die because they can't get any food and they can't get any water so well they will die it's as simple as that they've changed that now so that's one little thing you can't do so let's go in fast forward time now the day we're on at the moment the season's days are different to the normal days there's one day out at the moment and you see we're on Tuesday and then we go to the seasons menu and that one if we look on the weather forecast it's saying today is Wednesday so it's one day out but that doesn't matter we will just fast forward time now and see what happens right I will see you back shortly right so I fast forward time and now we are are in early summer so we go on we were on Tuesday and now it's Friday and if we go to the other menu the seasons menu and you can see we've got everything there now we haven't generated any more sheep and now I think that's because I bought the sheep in the second day of spring where I probably should have bought them on the first day of spring or you might need them before spring I don't know we're gonna do I was gonna do a day but basically we're gonna do each season as it goes so we've just come to the end of spring we haven't got any off spring but we have generated larger amounts of meat for one so we go on to the door sets and the door sets were originally 131 pounds and now they're 147 pounds so the, the weight on all of them has gone up they were 110 and now they're 115 on the merino and then the suffolks were 100, 154 pounds and now they've gone up to 164 pounds so it does make a big difference depending on which one you're going to use which is always good it makes the game that a little bit more interesting so we're starting off with the door sets here and you can see let's go in to the prices and they are worth now 378 pounds which uh, is not a lot but they're growing and if we go on to that menu the other thing I forgot to say about was the health now when you buy them first of all the health is on 80% and as you look after them the health goes up and then it's on now on 92% so we fast forward time by what three days so in three days it's gone up 12 percent so by the end of summer it, they're probably going to be on 100 percent so let's go and do that we're going fast forward time and you see each of them they've all gone up the same amount every single one of them so we're fast forward time now to the end of the summer after i've showed you what wool there is 
so for the door sets we have one, four, five, six, seven bundles and they were moderate wool anyway now this is the one you want we've had five pallets straight away so there's 16 bundles there and we've got another 17 18 we've got 19 bundles off that one alone which is the merinos was a merinos let's just double check that we'll click onto there and yep yeah, they're the merinos now worth 341 pounds now so not a great deal but then we go over to the next ones which are the suffolks and these generated what eight ten bales so a little bit less so they are definitely the ones for wool makes a big impact and then we come over to the dopers or dorpers and obviously we got nothing here because they don't generate wool so bear that in mind don't be using them if you want to generate wool because they won't generate any right so let's fast forward time to the end of summer now interestingly as well when i go into the animal upkeep animal upkeep at the top and that's on zero now this is meant to fluctuate it's meant to cost you more money when you're giving birth to all your animals because for veterinary bills and various other things but that hasn't worked so far so i'm not complaining right let's fast forward time i will see you back here at the end of summer so here we are just into autumn and seasons is working properly because we've generated no more extra wool so you're only going to get your wool in your springtime and you see all these other ones are exactly the same so let's go to the seasons menu and you can see there now we're into the first part of autumn go over to our animals and see how they're they're doing so we've got the suffolks there now the suffolks they started off at 154 pounds and now they're 171 pounds so keeping your sheep in the summer doesn't really benefit you but it's all about keeping them for a long term because the actual health has gone up now you can see all of them are on 97 percent so we'll see if that hits 100 and then stays or drops down after we'll see through the next seasons so let's fast forward time to the end of autumn start of winter and see what the crack is then right so we are now in the first day of early winter and what's changed well now we've actually got a reproduction rate for all our animals so it appears that you need to have them for at least well we had them at the st i think it was the sec first day into spring and we didn't get a reproduction rate till just the end of autumn now the health of all the animals has reached 98 percent but it hasn't got any higher so i take it 98 percent is going to be the highest we shall see and going on to regarding the fluctuation of prices i totally forgot that they're all down in here on the economy setting and we scroll down to there we go the door sets so the best time to sell the door sets is the spring on the third day in spring basically and they're all exactly the same so that's why the prices was going up and down i was like well i can't wear this out and i totally forgot about that so they're all still getting bigger as well which is a good thing but you can see now when you scroll on all of them they're all 0.2 years so some haven't come through yet some are 0.3 some are 0.4 so we're going to get we're going to get some offspring in spring right so we are in winter so now we will fast forward to the first day of spring and then that's a full year so i will see you in a moment so we are now in late spring and i fast forwarded to late spring there it is there you can see it in the calendar as this is the top price for sheep and we go down there and there they are there the Dorset Merino Suffolk and Dorper and you can see it's the optimum price is today so we fast forward time just over a year and if we look at the let's do the Dorsets first because that's how I had them written down 
So the door sets, we started off with 20 and we now have 31. So they were the top one for production wise, for maximum sheepage. And the next one after that was down there, was the Suffolk, where the Suffolk came in at 28 sheep it generated in that time period. So the Suffolk and the door set are the ones what are gonna give you a maximum amount where it's you're gonna generate 31 sheep and 28 sheep on the Suffolk, which is pretty good. Then going on to the Dorper. Now these ones are the ones what you don't get any wool off, so you're only gonna generate sheep off, basically, and you get 23 sheep, which isn't bad, it's doubled, but I, I thought you might get a few more off that one. I was quite surprised at that. And then we go up to the Merino. Now the Merino is 19 sheep, and that was medium for wool, slow and slow, growing and doesn't need much feed so a sort of mid-range one but after doing this testing you're better off just using the door set or the suffolk simple as that so how much are they worth now because if you can see we scroll over now and down at the bottom here you've got newborns when 0.1 years 0.1 years and we go all the way up and you see all these are the ones we started off with where they're 2.2 years now. So those, they're not saying next animal. Now, the newer ones, there we go, that one's saying not fertile, because it's 0.3 years. I think it's 0.5 or 6, and then they're fertile again. So this is what you get, at, but you also get male and females. So I would have thought the whole idea is not to have too many males. Now, I did a bit of research on this, and there's not a lot since it's had an update um the the it hasn't had the manual updated so a bit unclear on that but so that's all your newborns there it's all there listed where all these menus doesn't help too much either really but there you go that's all the Mourinho's and then let's look at the, the Suffolk's because that was the one of the higher ones with 28 sheep and then we scroll all the way down and we got all our new we got our matures and then it goes to newborns all the way down there and then we got fertile just because they're too, not yet they're too young at the moment so that is that menu there let's go to the pen which to see how much it's worth now we got to go in this way so we've got the suffolks now the suffolks we started off at 481 pounds each and now to buy them they're at 505 because it is the highest amount and we can sell ours for £439 for our older ones, which are 2.2 years. And then you scroll down, because these are the, all the ones we've made extra, basically, where these are all our offspring. And we can sell those for 337 362 The price is does go up on them as they get a little bit older, depending on male and female as well, where there is a price difference on those, which I, I was surprised about. Well, well, there you go there you've got that one there is at 281 on a male and then 242 for a female and they are a couple of weeks behind each other some of these so that's how you're going to generate money by the, your offspring anyway because this is all i'm i've never done it before so there's not much out there which tells you a lot either so we're just going to go through and that's 2.2 years i'm not sure how long you're going to keep them before they they drop the price of them drops so if you have carried on with this i'm going to start a let's play and do it that way i think and then we can go back and get the results as we carry on with it so we know what the crack is rather than i fast forward a year and that's the outcome all in all the door sets in the suffolks are the best and the other thing is with the where's our bales gone with the bales now if you go into the animal, not the, the vehicle overview, and our bales are listed on here, and they haven't degraded one single bit. I've left them out all the time, and there they are. They're all on 100% still. Every single one of them, and even our new ones which have just come in, they're on 100% still. Same with the animal upkeep in the finances. The animal upkeep is there, and it's all on zero, 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 zero. So not sure what the crack is with that. But there you go. Righto, well that's it for today. Just get your head round the sheep. 
Four Seasons 19 Farming Simulator and Christ there's uh, so much to go through it's taking me all day just to go through it already and but we've done we've had a first look and hopefully I haven't missed anything and if I have then I'll I'll put it in the comments or if I've majorly missed out then um, I'll add another video things are gonna change and when it does I will keep you updated right out if you've enjoyed this episode don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new to the channel go and have a look at my other videos got nearly coming up for 600 now got loads to choose from thanks for watching and I will see you next time